trying to look for the perfect spot. <laughs> how's, it, how's it going? Ready? En el trabajo, un teacher. Sí, eso sí. veo. Ok, sí, todavía sí, falta uno. Sí, que ahora, ahora eh, voy a estar intermitente porque como tengo un cliente que viene a venir a República Dominicana, mm. entonces trabajamos imprimiendo empaques flexibles. Uh -huh, entonces, uh -huh. vienen los clientes con una prueba de color, tienen que validarnos la impresión, aprobarlo, autorizarlo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Vienen como a las ocho y media, nueve. Así que ahí puede estar moviéndome porque tengo que ir a la máquina a ver qué tal. Ah, es no problem, just Permite be there. Perfecto. Bueno, yeah. Gracias, teacher. See you later. Huh? Ok.
Hello, hello, Narciso. You are the only one in Harrison who connected at this time. It's already eight. Can you listen to me? Oh, yes, JC teacher. is coming. JC good is night. coming. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. So we go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, Narciso. <laughs> hey, uh, so how's it going? How's everything? How's, how's um, I don't know, everything at home, at work? How do you feel today? Ready for today's class? Very good, very good. Nice, nice to hear that. Okay. JC is there, Christina is also there, Harrison is there. So welcome guys, it's already, it's already eight. So we're gonna start checking the attendance, okay? So I'm glad to see that you guys are connected on time, which is, you know, part of the, I don't wanna say requirements, but part of your responsibility, let's say, let's put it that way, okay? So welcome, welcome to uh, your second class, module, three <laughs> welcome guys and let's expect this class to be you know very um what productive okay so i'm going to start checking the attendance first and number one is anna elizabeth is anna connected i think she's not right okay uh then i have narciso you're the second present, one here present, present, good present. thank you so much uh claudia I think Claudia is not connected yet. And then we have here, um, let's see, Cristina. Cristina? No problem, Cristina. No Thank you so much for reporting that. Let's see, Daniel, Luna, he's not connected yet. Okay. Um, David, not connected yet either. And then Eric Arnoldo. Eric Arnoldo? No. Not yet. Okay. Let's move on. Gabriela Guadalupe. Not Present teacher. Hi, Gabriela. How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing good. Thanks so much for asking. It's Tuesday. And, you know, happy to be here connected. Let's see. Harrison is there. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Harrison. Jesus Antonio, I think he's not connected yet. Okay. Um, Ruben, is Ruben connected? Ruben, I think he's not either. Okay, let's see. JC, I saw JC somewhere. Present teacher. Thank you so much, JC. How's it going, JC? Sorry, teacher. How is it going? I'm gonna send a question, JC. Maybe it's, it's something, it's not uh, common. How's it going? It's similar, like, como le va? Como se todo? How's everything? I'm good, teacher. I'm okay. good, teacher. What okay. about you? I'm doing good, doing really good. A little bit hot in here in my town, but, you know, ready for this session so we can, you know, get the boat rolling and we can learn something on this session. Okay, thank you so much for asking. Uh, number Okay. Uh, let's see. Thank you. Number 13, Linda. Hello, Linda. No, Linda, not yet. Okay. Let's continue. Maria Julia. Is Maria Julia connected? I think she's not. Okay. Marlene Nicole. Present. How are you, Marlene? I'm good. I'm all right. Okay, right. I, I can hear. Be careful, please. Be careful. Uh, next one, Marvin Omar. Marvin not here. I don't know what happened to Marvin. Norma Carolina. Norma. She's not either. Um, Rafael. I saw Rafa. Present teacher. How are you, Rafa? Everything good. Nice to hear that. Great. I can see that. You are very active, which is really good. 
<laughs> All right, let's okay. move on. Reinaldo, Rey is not connected. Mr. King, not connected. Okay, Rey not connected. Eh, Xiomara del Carmen. I don't think she is connected. Okay, so welcome, Daniel. I can see you are ready for today's session. Yes, teacher. Hello, I, I, I'm, I'm alive. <laughs> nice to hear I'm that, though. Okay. I'm working, receiving a plane. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You know, uh, I imagine you, you know, assisting, you know, this. I mean, I imagine how, I don't know if it is challenging, the word that describes your job, because, I mean, directing or assisting the planes is not an easy task, but you have the experience, which is, you know, really <laughs> Thank good. Thank you. And, oh. and, and, and great, uh, great uh, forklift. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Whenever I see, you know, whenever I, I see those, uh, I don't know if they are considered vehicles or I don't know. It just uh, when I see this uh, forklift, for right? When I see those uh, cars, little cars, and I say, well, that's Daniel's work. <laughs> you know, once I, I saw one in Cincinnati, you know, and these, um, what do you call these? Um, I think like a warehouse, bodegas, you know, where they yeah. have these type of things. And I say, I remember, oh, this is Daniel. This is what <laughs> one of the activities you guys, I mean, you do, okay. So guys, well, we're gonna start because today we have, uh, well, many activities that we have to cover. And most importantly, that we have to understand, okay? That is the main uh, purpose of this session, that we uh, understand, you know, what's going on on this handout, on this topic. And uh, most important, even that you guys participate. Okay, thank you so much, Maria Julia. Thank you for sending the message on the chat. I just saw it. Okay, so welcome. So yesterday we started talking about a very important topic. We talked about how to make missions and visions, right? Using infinitives, right? So we left this pending activity. Okay, on the plate, we said that we were going to retake today, and some of you were going to what share. I remember. So, who didn't share yesterday that would like to share today? I just remember that I heard some of you guys who didn't share yesterday that would like to share today. Uh huh. Let's see. Any volunteer? I know some of you did, but some of you did not. So, who wants to do it? Thank you, Jose. Jose, Jose, Jose Mejia, <laughs> Ruben. Okay, so who wants to share? Come on. One mission at least and one vision. Who wants to do it? Mm, maybe I'm gonna choose one. Georgina, how's everything, Georgina? Hello, teacher. How are you, Georgina? Why you be? You are so uh, quiet. I don't I like that. I am here. Okay, I know you are. Were you playing? Uh, no, no, no. My mm. husband. Oh, okay, maybe you were <laughs> playing. I thought you were playing, you know, <laughs> Free Fire or something like that. Yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I imagine. So, Christina, I want to hear your vision and mission. Go ahead, Christina. Hello. Hi. My vision is my mission. Correct. Uh, my name is the Queen Bakery. My vision is we are a team. We are the common at the create products innovate. My vision to be a unique bakery that creates innovative products. That's great. Only that. Thank you so much. Uh, Christina, did you say create like this? I just sent a verb on the chat. Is that what you said? Create? Or not? Uh, create. Is, is, is that what you said? Eso fue lo que se decía, Chris? Great. The okay. Exactly. So the pronunciation is create. Create. Cre create. Create. It's like two syllables. Cre 
create. Create, exactly, create. Okay, so anybody else who would like to share that has ensured? One more. No volunteers? Hmm, okay, I can see. You're kind of shy today. I don't like that. You, you need to participate as much as you can. So we are going to move on with the next activity. And today we're going to talk about something which is really important in our lives. And this is values, okay? So I want to ask you guys, on the chat, please send me like two or three values, okay? Um, like that you would say that are the main one for you guys. Like, you in your lives, three values. Okay, I give you one minute. So go ahead, send me three values that you consider like in your personal, you know, life, not at work, personal life. Sorry? Great. Create respect. Good, Daniel. What else? What else? Integration, integrity. Okay. What else? Jose says teamwork, fellowship. Okay. Support. Okay. Honesty, says Rafa. Good. What else? Three. Loyalty. Great, Narciso. What else? What else? More values that represent you, okay? That you say, you live them, you apply them, right? Look, you put, in, you put them into practice, okay? In your life, responsibility, discipline, okay? The spelling of responsibility is incorrect and discipline is incorrect. Just check the spelling, modesty, okay? Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Values, guys. Values, values. Keep sending them. Keep sending. Keep sending. I want to. Uh... Quality. Okay, Narciso. I like that one. Quality is a good one. Yes. We don't consider, right? Sometimes. But what else, Georgina? What about you, Anna Elizabeth? What about you? What are your values? Uh, Maria Julia. I know Marlene is driving. Can't do it. Gav Gabriela. JC, what are your values? Come on, don't be shy. What represents you? Teamwork, okay. Yes, I like that one. Teamwork, it's just great. What else? Modesty, okay. All right, what else? Honesty and trust. I like that one. Trust is a good one. Trust is just a great one because you have to trust. You have to build that confidence and trust with others, okay? One more. I want to, want to read more. Positive attitude, okay? Yes, Ruben, that is a good one. Like you have to have the positive attitude, right? That is essential. Good, let's see. I want to hear now, now no more writing, now speak, speak, okay? And this is the question. And this is for, let's see, um, I'm gonna start with uh, one girl. Let's see, Gabriela. So do me a favor, read this question and answer it. So what is the question you're going to answer? The first one, what are, read it and also answer it, please. Go ahead. Read it. Gabriela, can you read? and answer the question. Okay. Whatever comes to your mind. Georgina, would you like to help us please? Read the questions and also give us your answer. 
okay, teacher, what are three personal values you transfer to your interaction with co-workers? Exactly. Now, uh, Georgina, no more in your personal life. Now think about your job at work. So what are those three personal values? Can you mention them, please? Uh, in my case, uh... Uh, modesty, uh, teamwork, um, uh, uh, competitividad. I don't, I forget. But I would want company. I would like to, I would need to check that one. Um, I think, um, mm -hmm. all right. So I think that's the one. But I like it. I like when, when you say modesty, you know, that means that you don't have to be arrogant, right? Or, or um, you, we have to always be prudent, right? We have to be uh, sensible, right? Okay, so let me check that one. Anybody else who would like to share? Anybody else? Anybody else who would like to share with us? Maybe Rafa? competitiveness let me send it to you okay um rafa what about you rafa what are your um what let's see values that you transfer to your um uh, co-workers uh, this is at work uh, i think honesty uh -huh. all right okay encouragement okay all right mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how do you say perseverance. That's perseverance. That's perseverance. Pers pers perseverance. 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 Mm -hmm. Perseverance. I just said the competitiveness. That will be the one that, that uh, Georgina just said. Okay. I just checked it. I was not sure. So, good one. That's a good one. Okay. I like when you say like courage, right? Okay, let's be strong. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, because your job is security agent, right? So that makes sense. So thank you so much for saying that. Okay, I need to hear one more. One more. Anybody else who want to share how you transfer those values to your um, co-workers? Responsibility. Okay, that's one. What else? Two more, please. Responsibility. What else? What else? Teacher, how do you say punctuality? That's punctuality. Punctuality, mm. punctuality is, is, you know, on the man, on, on the handout. We're going to see it, punctuality. Okay, that has to do with responsibility, but it's punctuality. It has to do with uh, being on time. Okay, what else? And what? what uh, uh -huh. Go ahead, Narciso, is that you? Mm. Service, service, to, service to others. Service to others. Okay, that is a good one. Actually, that is on in here as well. Okay. Who else wants to uh, share the values you, um, let's say, you transfer to your peers or your colleagues? What else? Respect. Respect is essential, right? That's something really essential. Thank you so much, Daniel. Let's do something, okay? I'm a oh, that's kindness. Kindness is it's another one, good one, like amabilidad, okay. kindness. Okay, okay. Nice. good. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need like uh, two participants to read this conversation, okay? Um, and then we're going to check on pronunciation. But as the first step, I want you to read it, please. So who would like to help me? I need one to be Mario and one to be uh, Teresa or Teresa. So who wants to do it? Maybe one boy and one girl. That'll be great. Who wants to do it? Try, please. One boy. Sorry, what happened? Me? Thank you so much. And then I need one boy now. Christina is ready. And then... Thank you, Arnold. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Okay. 
Did you receive a new letter? Okay. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from another companies. What do you mean? I mean we now innovation efficient skill and respect should be part of all customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should like the values that make us different from other companies. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys, for that uh, participation. Appreciate it, uh, my dear friends. Uh, we are going to go over some little details, okay? Uh, first one, this question here. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Do the pronunciation mean? is mean. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, and then uh, this word, Arnold, but, uh, but. but. But, but, and this is apply, like apply, apply. And then the rest was, oh, this one, this verb. This is leave because it's the action, is the verb leave. Like for example, mm. where do you leave? So it's leave, it's, not, it's the verb. When we say life, it's because it's, it's the noun. My life, your life, but in this case is mm. leave. leave. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Okay, good. So just those little like few observations. Okay, I need like two more participants to read the same dialogue and please. Um, I mean this time, try to if you had like any doubt in how to pronounce it, you can stop and and ask me. Okay. But I think uh, we're kind of like getting the idea in how to pronounce it. So let's listen to maybe um, Ruben and I don't know, let's see Ruben and, and Norma or oh, Norma is there. I think, hey Norma, how, how are you Norma? Are you ready Fine. to read? Are you ready yes. to read? Okay, so Mario is Ruben and you are, Teresa or Teresa, or whatever you want to call it. Go ahead. I am Teresa. Okay. Uh, did you receive a news leader, leader about the core values in, of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, you... and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. Uh, we know we know about the values of the company, but may we don't apply things. Apply things. Exactly. We should like the values. That, that may use different from other companies. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys, for, for reading. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Ruben. Um, just quick observations. Remember, uh, Ruben, mean, mean. And then here, values. 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 Values, exactly. And this is the verb yeah, apply. 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 And and this, Ruben, is leave, no life. Leave. We, we should leave. leave the values, exactly. Okay? It's, so, I don't know, it's a Maya newsletter. Newsletter. Oh, newsletter, newsletter. newsletter. I'm going to read it once, like the entire, the entire uh, conversation, okay? And you just listen to me, and maybe you want to read and, you know, along with me. But so I'm going to start. 
Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Okay, so I'm gonna give you um, two minutes and practice this conversation as many times as you can, okay? No more than two or three minutes, please. So practice it, change um, what? Roles, and then um, you're going to read it for me once again, okay? So if you are alone, it, you have no partner, please come back to the main station. I'm gonna be here. Only practice as much as you can, as many times as you can, okay? Here we go. So we are uh, 14, I might be uh, participating as well. So here we go, practice please, take turns. Here we go. What happened, Arnold? No partner? Hello, Arnold? No Hello, partner? Teacher. No partner? No, es que se me apagó la computadora. Ah, okay. otra vez. We are just um, practicing. We're practicing uh, the following. So here we go. Look, this is what we're doing. We're practicing this conversation, okay? So I'm gonna be Mario, you are Teresa. <laughs> I am Teresa. <laughs> Go ahead, Arnold. Okay. Did you receive, I'm sorry, did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Hey, good pronunciation. <laughs> good pronunciation, <laughs> Teresa. Okay. <laughs> okay, Teresa. Now, now, now it's my turn. Okay, let's switch it. Let's switch it. Okay, let's switch it. You start, please. Go ahead. Yo, okay. Yep. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. It, we should write no leave. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Awesome. Yep. Good job, Mario. Good job. Okay. I was good job, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was good. Okay. So, uh, yes. Teacher, I was with Rafael, but me sacó del, del grupo. No sé qué pasó. Mm, ya, Rafa, que le hizo <laughs> linda. Solo porque es linda, dicen. No, yo no sé no, qué pasa. Pasando iba. Yo pasando iba. Pasando iba, no tengo la culpa. No, 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 no,
Si solo les di un minuto, porque era suficiente, un minuto y medio. Ah, usted. Okay, usted no había terminado. Estábamos emocionados, teacher, no, hombre. Ustedes contándole de... de ah, ya veo, ¿verdad? Ah, a ver, contándole qué está. El, el, el minuto no, no, no lo gastamos en presentarlo. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo ha estado la familia? Ah, <risa> ya, ya, ya. Got it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it next time. Okay. Okay. okay, entonces vamos a escuchar a Linda y a Rafa. Ok. Bye. Así que adelante, hoy sí, para todos, en vivo, directo. Go. Ok. Inicie usted, Rafa. Yes. Ok. Do you receive a new letter about the car values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply, apply them. Exactly. We shall like, forget it. We shall leave the value that made up Defer from other company. Nice, that was really good. I like when you realize that you make a mistake. Do you know what's realize? What's realize? That is your re exactly. I like when you realize that you make a mistake, Rafa, and you say, oh, forget it, okay? We should leave. That was really good. Okay, before I move on, is there any question or any doubt in how to pronounce or meaning? on this conversation? No. No? Fine? No. No problem. Thank you so much. Okay. So let's see. Daniel Luna, what a strategy does Teresa and Mario's company use to promote its core values? What comes to your mind? Okay. Let's take one minute and then I'm going to start asking. Daniel is going to start answering. And then maybe uh, Miss Alegria will answer number two. So, but as of now, everybody, please start brainstorming and tell me, okay? Two minutes. I think it's okay. Answer, please. Share it. Well, these answers are based on the conversation, guys. Maybe you, if you have it, that's great. Okay, teacher, it's complicated, but I, I'm gonna try. All right, that's the idea. Okay, the try it. The strategy is they know innovation, efficiency, and respect. So that is a strategy. That, that, this, that is a strategy, I, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So strategy, strategy they know, right? But, and what is a strategy? What's a strategy? What comes uh, to your mind? It's a form to make something, some, something. Okay, I like it. You got the answer. So what is the strategy that they use, okay, to um, promote the values? Leave, leave the values. 
oh, they leave the values. Okay. Mm -hmm. But there's a strategy that the company uses. There's one strategy that they use. There's one, let's say, method that they used. There is a way that they use to promote the values with the employees. What is that? There is something in the in the in the conversation that we are still missing. What is it? With new player. Okay, okay. So what what does the company do? Okay. But then the question is, what does the company, uh, Teresa and Mario's uh, work do or to promote or use to promote the values? Yeah, it, it has to do with the newsletter, but how? Okay, there's something that we're missing. What are we missing? There's one action that uh, we're missing. You were, you were very close. The values of the company. Exactly, so, but they, they-, they uh, they're, gonna, they're gonna apply. They apply it, but th th that is Mario and, and the lady, right? But then, and, and Teresa, but what about the company? How does the company, promote or what is the strategy that is used to promote it has newsletter. to later exactly it has to do with the receipt with that with a newsletter but then mm -hmm. what do they do they what it's a strategy guys so yes this the newsletter is only the what the instrument but then what do they do with that newsletter, wait, I'm, I'm vanishing, me estoy desapareciendo. Okay, I return like Thanos, you know? Okay, okay, the newsletter okay. is the instrument. Uh huh. Oops. <laughs> Linda! <laughs> Yes, the newsletter, Linda. But then what, what happened with the newsletter? Imagine, Linda, you no, are the man. No. I'm sorry, Anna. Anna, say it again, please. Sure. You got the answer. Imagínense que yo tengo la, la, la newsletter en mis manos, pero si solo la tengo, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué necesito hacer como, como propietario, como owner? ¿Qué hago? Put in practice. To put in practice. Sí, pero hay algo más básico y esencial que es y más fácil. Read. Leerla, pero hay algo para que usted reciba algo que tiene que ser la compañía. <risa> Core value, about the core value. Sandy, alguien dijo por ahí, tiene que mandarle a los empleados si se la queda. Exactly, Harrison, si se la queda, entonces, de nada le sirve. Entonces, la strategia, la estrategia es que ella la hace la newsletter y luego, boom, ahí le va. Y la lean y la pongan en práctica es otro, otro chiste, ¿verdad? But they, that is the strategy. They print, they create a newsletter, and boom, la envían, send, they send it. Y luego los empleados, they received it. Ellos la reciben, ¿verdad? Y lo, okay, that would, that would be the strategy. Esa es la estrategia. They create a newsletter, they send it, la envían, ¿verdad? Ustedes y yo sabemos de que a veces hmm, llega la newsletter y lo menos que hacemos quizás es leerla. ¿va? I don't know, that's my case. I'm talking about me, okay? Maybe you guys are the different, the difference in your companies. Okay, so we have that answer. So the company sends a newsletter to its employees. It send it, okay? What about number two? Who has the number two? Who has the answer of number two? Are Mario and Teresa positively impacted by the company's values? And how? Who has the answer? 
What's the answer? Let's see. Dom, just as, así como me dieron la respuesta de la, de la strategy, que muy close, quiero que sabes try again, please. Hope, okay, we don't know. Maybe this time we're going to go straight to it. Yes or not? So that's the first question. Yes or not? Yes. Because... Okay. Because they, 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 uh -huh. let's, let's put it this way. I'm going to give you just a hint. Um, why, why, why uh, we are different from other companies? Okay. Yes. It has to do with that. What let's, so the answer is yes, right? Yes. Yes, they are. Now, what does or what did Teresa mention that we can say she is impacted positively? The idea is remember why they are different from other companies. Okay, okay, yes, yes. It has to do, and but that is that what Mario says, right? That's that said by Mario. And what about Teresa? What did Leave Teresa... the values. Okay, okay. She the values. And what else? We should just leave the values and that makes us different from the other company. Okay, that make a difference. Yeah, Mario says that. And also Mario says, and Teresa agrees. Teresa says, exactly. So that means that they should, what? Apply, apply. That's, that's key, that's just clave. That they should apply. They are positively impacted because they, they what? They are talking, okay, so we have to apply. We have, in other words, we have to put these values into practice. We have to live them, as you guys said it, okay? So let me just recap, resuming. Um, so the answer is, yes, they are. Why? Because Teresa mentions that the core values of the company should be present when they are what dealing with the customers, right? And Mario explains that they should leave the values. And, and this is what you said, to make, um, to be different from you know, other companies. So that's exactly, it's, that's an, actually that's in other words, but this is at the end is, is very similar, the ideas, okay? Um, all right, so that's you know, the discussion about this very basic conversation. And now we need to move on and we need to move on. And I want you to go to the next page on your handout. This is going to be page 12. Okay, on this page, we have uh, some values, guys. Some values, let me share the screen. We're going to read these values, okay? Okay, we're gonna start. Maybe uh, Maria Julia will help us. Please, Maria Julia. Can you read or pronounce these values we have here? We have, I think, eight. Only read it, please. Can you try? Uh, efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service to others, integrity, loyalty, responsibility. Okay, good, thank you so much. Loyalty, loyalty, exactly. So we have uh, these are uh, some of these values that we um, can have in you know, the company's culture. And what else would you add? We have two, two other spaces here. What else would you add? In addition to efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service to other, integrity, and loyalty and responsibility, what else would you add? Uh, Ms. Alegria, what would you add? Two more. Um, 
two other, two more. In the real. Two more values. In these two, uh, we have two, we have two um, blanks in here. What else would you add? One, two, two more values. What would you add? Que agregaría? What would you add? Um, mm -hmm. um, what would you add? Um, wow. Here, how do you say discretion? Discretion. Uh, I would. I think there's a way. I would say. Um, is it discretion? I'm not sure. I was thinking about something different. Maybe something that has to be. Uh, uh, prudency, maybe. But I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me find it out. Uh, that was a good one. There, is it discretion? Ya lo revisaron? Discretion? I don't know. Discretion. Yeah? Um, discretion. Yeah? Yes. Let me check. Oh, yeah. Discretion. I, yeah, but it, it, it can be also. Okay. Yeah, that would be that would be the one. This description. This description. Let me check. Discretion. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, description. Thank you so much for teaching me that. Never heard that one. Uh, okay, what else? Creative. So, creative. Okay, okay. Uh, creativity. Okay, so creativity. that will be one more. What else? We have two more. This discretion and we have creativity. Okay, what about you? Let's see. Um, I don't know. Rafa, what else would you add? What else would you add? How do you say tolerancia, teacher? I think it's the same. This is a good like uh, evaluation about uh, you know Tolerant. values. Uh, yeah, oh. let, let me check. Yeah, I think it's the same. Yes, it's, it's tolerance. <laughs> tolerance, but it's, yeah. it's tolerance with C-E at the end. Discipline, discipline. Okay, that, that's a good one, discipline. So let me write the one you just asked because it's good to, to write it down. The, the first one is discretion. Second one is tolerance. Next one is, is what discipline, right? Discipline. Same. And okay, um, discipline. We have three more, Dis discretion, tolerance, and discipline. What else? Lealtad teacher. How that, is, that is already there. Let me see. Hey, yeah. Loyalty. I used that loyalty, yeah. Teamwork, okay. I like that Teamwork. one. It's Honestly, important. teamwork, it's is, it is important. Honesty, también. Alguien dijo honesty. Somebody said honesty. Me, teacher. Okay, good, honesty. Yes. You know what? Um, Where I used to work. Used to... I'm sorry? Co collaborador. Collaborator. Uh, collaboration. Collaboration, yes. Collaboration. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, there's one. They exaggerate. Uh -huh. How do you say trabaja en equipo? Yeah, that's that's the one. Somebody said it already. Teamwork. Ahí está. Alguien lo dijo. Teamwork. Ahí lo mandé. I send it to the chat. Teamwork. Teamwork. Mm -hmm. um, where I used to work, teamwork. we had this. But this is, this is an exaggeration. Oh. But I'm going to send it, okay? Uh, they say excellence. I know it's an exaggeration, but, you know, they go for that. They strive for excellence. Okay. What else? Do you have any any other that you would like to mention? Maybe we can double check it. So we have tolerance, discretion, discretion, discipline, teamwork, and honesty and excellence. What else? Is there any Creative. other? Creativity. Oh, yeah, somebody said it. Creativity, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, yes. I think it's uh I think it's okay with this information. Now, before we move on, I want you to rank, okay? Rank or oh, commitment, Georgina. That is a really good one. Commitment. Oh, you just remember me. You just reminded me yes, about commitment. one more. Uh, you just reminded me about this one. Let me send it. Ownership. 
It has to do with commitment. Ownership is a really important one because um, if you uh, own, you know, your task, if you take ownership of the company, you feel as if the company is yours. Therefore, you represent the company at, you know, it should be. So commitment and ownership, good ones, okay? I like it. You see, great ideas. We are learning, that's awesome. Okay, now um, let's do this activity. We're gonna take like two, two to five minutes, no more, but I want you to rank the top five values, which is the first place according to your beliefs and what is the number five. So from the highest to the lowest, top rank, choose five and tell me why you put it in that way. Why first place, why second place and so on. Okay, so let's take five minutes in your notebook, right, right. Make a ranking, okay? And then you explain to us, go ahead. Is that clear? You see, clear? Or I not? Think yes, teacher. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> Miss Alegria, clear? Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead, good. And the question two. No, uh, we're just ranking. Uh, we're ranking de los todos los valores que hemos dicho, incluyendo los que están en el manual. Okay. Hay un rank, un ranking de los top five, los más importantes en orden de acuerdo que usted cree. Y diga, me va a explicar por qué, por qué este y no el otro. Maybe a brief explanation, una explicación corta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take two more minutes and then you have your ranking ready. Okay, good. I think it's, it's um, okay, it's time. So we are going to start now discussing, okay? I want you to please challenge yourself, guys, and try to explain, okay, as to why you decided to put top ranking, top five, why number one, why number two, and then try to explain, okay? For example, I think um, what responsibility is top five, first place, because every employee must comply with the task and blah, blah, blah. You explain in your own words, okay? So that will, that's what we have to do. 
who would like to start? Me, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna I like fix the the number one is respect because the respect is is important. If you respect to me, I respect to you. In in another area of of the life in the house in the street, in the workplace. I I think this. Okay, thank you so much. Just, um, I agree with that, Daniel. Respect is above all, right? And then just to um, complete the idea, what is second place for you, Daniel? Mm -hmm. What is the second place according to your second, belief? Uh -oh. Second place is loyalty. And then third one? Uh, honestly. Mm -hmm. Fourth? Punctuality. Punctuality. And, and fifth? Service to other. Service to other. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's Daniel's ranking. Good. Who else? Who else wants to share? Narciso, your ranking, please. Go. Number one, discipline. Number two, integrity. Number three, loyalty. Number four, respect. Number five, customer orientation. Nice. And why discipline, Narciso? First place. Why is discipline? Considero que es de depende todo la disciplina. Okay, so in English, I consider what? Consider uh, discipline is in integral. Okay, all right, I like that. Okay, I consider discipline is, is, is the main, right? The main core, it depends, right? everything depends on that. Okay, all right, I agree with that. You know, that's a, that's a second thought, second idea. Good. I want to hear more, at least two more participants. Georgina, thank you, Georgina. You are laughing. That's good. Share your ideas. Okay, teacher. In my days, is the, the first is teamwork, and responsibility, modesty, commitment, and innovation. In words, I think it's very important because, because we are we are team and we are oh, we have connected my oh, we are work connected uh, with my co-worker and because I I my case very important in work. Yeah. Okay, it's nice because it's so great to see the diversity of ideas, right? Diversity of, of thought. Daniel says respect, Narciso says discipline, and Georgina says teamwork, you know? So that's, that's good to see this difference, you know, differences in, in your rankings. Is there anybody else who would like to share? Any más que le gustaría compartir? Always, teacher. Thank you Bobby. so much. Go ahead. Um, I'm confident, honest, and I am sure of, of my job. For example, uh, what was the first one you said, Harrison? The first one. Uh huh. What's the first one? Confidence. Okay, confidence. Okay, interesting. So that tells me that maybe depending on what you do, 
then you want to prioritize differently, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe the, uh, depending on, on the type of job you do, you like set priorities differently. Okay, thank you so much guys for helping me out. And now help me please with the attendance. Okay, uh, number one, Ana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Narciso. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia yeah. Karina. Claudia Karina. Claudia, all right. Uh, Cristina. Present. Thank you, Cristina. Daniel. Here, teacher. Thank you, David. Not here. Eric Arnoldo. Present teacher. Thank you, Eric. Uh, Gabriela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Herson Manuel. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Jesus Antonio. No, okay. Ruben. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Linda. Maria Julia. Maria Present. Julia. Thank you, Maria Julia. Marlene. Hello, present. Marlene, how are you, Marlene? <laughs> are you <laughs> sleepy? <laughs> are you tired? Tired, teacher. <laughs> okay, I okay. I know it's part of it's, it's part of you know it's Tuesday. Come on, it's Tuesday. It's not even <laughs> Friday. Okay, uh, Marvin. Marvin is not here, right? Uh, Norma. Yeah, I saw Norma. Hi, uh, present teacher. Thank you, Norma. Rafa. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafa. And Reinaldo didn't connect today. Xiomara didn't either. Okay. And then Adrian, Georgina. Present. Thank you, Georgina. And Jairo. And Jose Alberto. Jose Alberto, I don't know what happened to Jose. He was really good last module. Okay. Um, so thank you so much. Guys, Me thank teacher. JC. Hey, JC. Yeah. Didn't I say your name, JC? No. Oh, let's see. Yeah, but I wrote I, I wrote in here that you are present. I don't know. I think I assume it. Sorry. Uh, Peña Cocolin, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you for you know telling me. I think I skipped it, but I had no problem. I had I had you know enter already that you were present, so which is good. But thank you so much for confirming. Okay, good. Guys, today's class is also part of um, what an, another um, what activity which has to do with prepositions and also uh, how to use prepositions in verbs, general forms. But we, before we get to that, I want you to help me to complete the activity about these values. We have six statements which we haven't done yet. So I'm gonna give you like uh, maybe five minutes for you to help me to complete this following activity. We have six statements and we have some blanks. So please choose, you know, from the box, the values that best match or the best fit in these blanks. Take five minutes and then we speak, we talk, we discuss it, okay? Choose the values.
so I know who is finishing. Georgina, thank you, Daniel. Ruben, Finish, Norma, Linda, Maria Julia, Arnold, yes. Narciso, no Rafa. Way. <laughs> no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. No say way. in English mm -hmm. or say in Mexican. <laughs> no way, no, no way. I didn't okay. Wait. Waiting. Ah, wait. 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 Nothing. Wait. Nothing. Wait. Wait. I think. <laughs> I, I think in Mexican topics. Right. It's like no way. De ninguna manera. No way. <laughs> okay. Okay. No way. Me acuerdo que decía mi teacher en la university. No way. Ni loco. Decía. No way. Um, ok, no way um, Ok, el sonido final, ¿verdad? No, wait T. Ok, so I think the majority way No way Ok, so let's share Let's share what we have, ok Veamos las respuestas, please um, So we have uh, let's see, six. Who wants to read the first one? We just already completed. First one, who wants to read it? For example. Okay, Marlene, read the first one, please. Do you have the... For example, uh -huh. I apply punctuality when I get to my job on time. Exactly, I apply punctuality. Apply. apply punctuality. Number two, Daniel, please. Number two. Number two is when I welcome customers to the store, I show respect. Okay, do you guys agree? JC, do you agree with that? Number three. two, others. Respect. Respect. And, uh, yeah, in number three. Uh -huh, number three. Number responsibility. Responsibility. Is to accept your mistake and their consequence. Okay, so JC yeah. agrees with respect and JC adds responsibility for number responsibility three. Responsibility number three. Okay. Uh, Anna Elizabeth, do you agree that number three is responsibility? Is um punctuality. Oh, so you disagree that is not responsibility, it's punctuality. Okay, punctuality to accept mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Honesty. Honesty. Oh no, no, responsibility. Oh, we have responsibility. responsibility. Okay, we have now we have different ideas. Okay, responsibility. Now this one. Okay, no, I, I, I like to hear that. So let me let me help you uh, so we so we can clarify. Number two, yes. Number two, as uh, Daniel said, is respect. Okay, that is number two. Number. Let me let me text it. Number two, respect. Number three. And this is, let's see, number three is, yes. Okay, you are correct, JC. 
Let me send it to you. Number three, responsibility. Okay. What about number four? Who has number four? Cristina, what do you have for number four? Cristina? Read, please, and tell us the answer. Hello? Yes, read and tell us the answer. I, I show. I show. Um, um, innovation when I finish my duties of time. <clears throat> Do you agree with that, Maria Julia? That is innovation. On efficiency. Cristina, did, did you change your mind? Cambio de idea? What do you say? Punctuality. Punctuality. Punctuality, says Georgina. Let's, let's analyze this zipper, okay? Let's analyze it. What does it say? It says, I show when I finish my duties on time. Daniel, what do you have? Narciso? Arnold, Norma, Romain. I think responsibility. Efficiency. Efficient. Efficient. Uh, Punctuality. I show, uh, I show efficiency when okay. I finish my duties on time. Okay. Look at the chat. Punctuality is where you uh, arrive to another place in the time. Time. Mm -hmm. At the right time. Mm -hmm. but exactly. For me, the number four is efficiency. Craig, can you see the chat? Efficiency. Efficiency. That is correct. Efficiency. 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 You know, the letter C, la letra C, suena como sh, efficiency. Efficiency. Okay. Okay, good. What about number five? What do you have for number five? I suggest What's number five. Innovation. 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 Do you guys say yes? Are you sure? Yes. Innovation. Yes. Georgina, hundred percent sure. Yes. Innovation. I think. Georgina, I don't see you confident. Norma, do you agree that it's innovation? Yes, teacher. Mm. Innovation. But Georgina is laughing. No. Mm. If I, I think innovation. Okay, I like that. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, what about last one? What about number six? What is it? Two others. Service to others. Service okay. to others. I can't say anything, Service right, you guys? Service to others. You guys agree, like, I can't say anything because, yes, that's what it is. Service to others. Good. Uh, so when I offer help to a customer, I demonstrate service to others. I demonstrate service to others. Okay, we finished, guys. Thank you so much. And, um, well... This is, uh, we have one um, activity right there. Let me show it. We're not gonna have like, we're gonna improvise it like now, okay? Improvising, it's good sometimes. Mm -hmm. So two minutes presentation, come on, this is too much time. Two minutes presentation. About what? About values of your company, okay? Include the five values. Use examples to show how people in your company apply those values, okay? Maybe we're not gonna have this formal presentation like this, like this guy, but I want to give you maybe uh, five minutes, no more, so you can start brainstorming ideas and prepare this presentation. And this is about the impact of the core values of your company on the personal. You know, right? You know the values of your company. Now think about what is the impact? Positive impact or, or we don't even notice. We don't even do anything to, to apply these values in our lives. So what would you say? Take five minutes, write some ideas in your notebook and then you share it with us, okay? Um, for example, respect. 
because I see that my, my colleagues, they respect each other. We say hi when we meet, you know, in any place. So you provide an, a very brief explanation. Una explicación bien corta. Um, Prepárese unos uh, five minutes and luego nos comparte. Okay, about your company. Okay, in the impact. Okay, when I shut myself off and then you start talking, you start writing, I'm sorry. Teacher, ¿sería uh -huh. por Go empresa ahead. o una sola? Uh, it's about your company. Es de su empresa. El impacto de los valores de su empresa en el personal. ¿Cómo se lo ve reflejado? ¿Cuál es el impacto? Si sí, se vive, no se vive. Algunos ejemplos. En English, short, sweet, en short. You know, you finish. It's not, it's not a speech. No es un form of speech, ¿verdad? Just something short, algo cortito. Puedo dar un ejemplo y citar algún valor de su compañía. Mm. Okay. You finish. Okay, great. So let me give you one more minute for those who haven't finished. Okay, I think it's it's okay. Whatever you have, it's fine. But I want you to share it, okay? Um, so who would like to start talking? Maybe two minutes <laughs> or more. Narciso, would you like to give it a try? Anna? What do you observe in your companies? What do you notice? So go ahead, please try, try to speak the language in. What I, what I, uh, what ideas? 
what are some ideas that come to your mind that you want to share? You feel ready, maybe you're just practicing. Mm. Okay, go ahead, please. Now, see, so now you're ready. Okay. Yes, there you go. Uh, the, value, the, the values in my company make our clients consume our products. Okay, any example where uh, people show that they apply the values in your company, Narciso? Customer orientation. Uh, the, 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 the loyalty. Loyalty is important. Loyalty. Okay, it's important. Okay. Okay. And do you think business, business, business ethic? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. For that for a good business, right? Ethic is important. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Narciso. Okay, if you guys can provide examples uh, where and when you see, you know, people in your company are applying these values, great. Okay, so who, who else would like to share what you wrote on your books, notebooks? Raise your hand, please, so you can participate. Who else? Narciso, do me a favor, choose the next person. You choose it. Uh, Marlene. Good choice. Go, Marlene. Tell us about your company. No entendí bien lo que vamos a hacer, pero. Okay. Marlene, pregunte, Marlene. Respect for customer service. That's right the responsibility to give the best seller service, honesty, so that the customer about the product and is, and is sure of what he buys. Finish. Uh, respect. For Respect, okay. So that's mm -hmm. what you see in your colleagues and in the company and when they show respect to customers, okay? I need to listen to one more, please. What, what do you understand? Si algo nos queda claro, yo apreciaría un montón que me escriba en el chat. Miren, no entendí. Sí, así tratamos de, de explicar o vemos cómo aclaramos la duda. But it's important, Marlene. I don't want that coming from you. Mm -mm. No, you ask, you ask, that's, that's better. Anybody okay. else, one more? One more who would like to participate? Only one. Come on, don't be shy. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Thank you so much. Puntual, punctuality. Because if they don't get we out, it's necessary. <laughs> They discount the right? punctuality uh -huh. and respect. Respect is important in my work because for a better coexistence. I like that. I like that value. Coexistence is really nice. Send that one to the chat, please, so everybody knows it. Coexistence. Send it to the chat, please. Okay, teacher, mm -hmm. this moment.
we're just waiting for that. And then, um, well, why did, did I ask JC to send these to the chat? Because we forgot this, and this is really important. Coexistence is really important in, a, in a, whatever we are, in our families, at work, you know, all this is really essential coexistence is uh, exactly what she explained. So thank you so much. We need to move on, okay? Let's move on. So um, let's see, give me one second. We are going to now move on to our next conversation. Give me one second. Okay, we have here, we have now a different um, conversation. And we're gonna talk about the a company chart and why is it important to know about, about it. Okay, what is an organization chart? Why organization charts? Why are, I'm sorry, organization charts important for businesses? Are you familiar with the organization chart on your company? Let's see, Georgina, are you familiar with the organization chart in your company? Are you familiar? Like who's the big, big, big boss? Who's the chief, the president? Who's like, uh, I don't know, the supervisors? Uh, if there is a quality department, are you familiar with that? Um, no. I don't understand. I, I, I... I, I me perdí. <laughs> Are you familiar? Está familiarizada con el organigrama, el chart. Oh, so yes, 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 yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you think it's important to know that? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because I, I, oh, we know, we know. Uh, who is a, a vice president? Who is a gerente general? It's important. We know. Y, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Important to know. Why is it important to know? No se explica en English. Okay, that's a challenge, Georgina. That's a challenge. Okay, oh. vamos a rebuscarnos para ver cómo lo decimos. That's a challenge. Ese es el reto. Try, híjole. try. Híjole, híjole, híjole. Eh, because um. Mm. Ay, ¿cómo decirlo? No, no sé cómo decirlo, teacher. Imagine this, Georgina. You are a psychologist, right? You are in human yeah. resources, I think. Human resources. Imagine I am the supervisor. I'm the floor manager. And then I said, I need uh, this profile. So it is important because... I know Georgina is in human resources. So I'm gonna say, Georgina, please, this is the profile I want. Can you uh, start interviewing and or rec recruiting you know, new personnel? So I know you are in charge of that. So that's why it's important. It's important porque así nos comunicamos, effective communication, ¿verdad? De repente yo sé que usted está allá en recruiting, uh, reclutamiento, I go and I ask you for help. Okay, so the importance of mm -hmm. an effective communication. That's, it's not you, that's okay. important. Yeah. But thank you. I know, creo que por ahí va la idea, ¿verdad? Iba la idea, más o menos. The, the importance of having an uh, organization chart. Okay, another thing. Imagine, mm -hmm. uh, yo no me voy a saltar los, los eslabones, ¿verdad? No, yo un solo al presidente, no, no, en no. caso me va a hacer. For example, uh, how do you say hacer uh, caso en inglés? Es, 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 es. Go ahead, Georgina, I'm sorry. No sé. No, no, esa es la que le quería decir. Es, es saber la jerarquía para saber a quién acudir. A quién es mi, mi jefe y, y, y a quién acudir. Mm -hmm. También so, por eso es importante, pero no sabía. Podemos decir, so we know. 
so, para saber who we can ask for help, a quien le pedimos ayuda, or who can help us out to solve problems, or who's our next level, okay? How do you say jerarquía in English? How do you say jerarquía? Hierarquía. Hierarquí. No. Uh -huh. Hierarquí. Yes. Hierarquí. Hierarquí. Yes. Hierarquí. Good. Thank you so much. So that's what it is. Let's talk about this conversation. Okay. Leamos esta conversación, guys. Pongámosle este, el feeling que el camerita Jessica en Roxana, dos señoritas aquí. Vamos a hacer el me escuchan y luego la practicamos un par de veces. Actually, aquí tenemos una, un chart. Miren, en la, ahí aparece el floor manager, que es el gerente, el gerente general, el safety engineer, que es el ingeniero de, de seguridad industrial, el maintenance chief, que es como el presidente o el. O el el supervisor, como decirlo, de mantenimiento, supervising, maintenance personnel, uh, machine operators, assemblers, and truck drivers. Ahí está más o menos one idea. Eh, ahora vamos, vamos a leer esta conversación. La, compa la compañía es Rex. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance departments. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but maintenance chief is in charge of directing our, your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Short. Short. Okay. I need two volunteers to try to follow up and read this conversation. Two ladies now. Uh, let me ask two girls. Let's see. I'm going to need Marlene and also Christina. Please. Marlene is Jessica and Christina is Roxana. Okay. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety in, of the plan. I see I'll be part of the maintaining department. Will I be responsible to do? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintain chief is in charge of directing of of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I can you if you need help? Sure. Okay. Girls, thank you so much for reading. Great pronunciation. Okay, last one is uh, may I call you if I need if I if I need help? May may I may I may I may I may I call you if I need any if I need an, if I need help if I need help. Okay, um, maintenance. Esta palabra tiene un poquito de complejidad. Maintenance, 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 maintenance. Lo demás pues estamos bien. Responsible, responsible, responsible to, responsible for. Okay, any questions, any vocabulary that you want to double check here? Vocabulary, guys? Or are we okay? Fine. No vocabulary. Okay, um, listen. Today's topic is also part of uh, prepositions and gerunds, okay? So what are those prepositions that you guys know? Prepositions that you know? Safety means, Ruben, uh, la seguridad. Safety, safety it means seguridad. In this case, seguridad industrial. Safety department, okay? El encargado de que si usted trabaja en una factory y hay mucho ruido, 
use ear, earphones, ¿verdad? Si está trabajando en construction, que use el helmet, el casco, eso es safety. Si está usando, uh, touching like very hot stuff, que se ponga guantes, ¿verdad? Gloves y todo eso, eso es safety. Um, well, what else? Veamos. Eh, les iba a comentar. Vamos a estudiar prepositions plus uh, gerunds. Ese es un tema bien importantísimo. Bien honest. Uh, we have uh, prepositions and also we have gerunds. Tenemos el primer ejemplo aquí. Una preposición. No sé si conocen preposiciones. Me gustaría que me mandaran en chat las preposiciones en inglés más comunes que conocen. Prepositions. Vamos. Wanna give you one or two minutes. What are those prepositions that you guys know? Están unas que son más comunes que otras. Top, top. Maybe you can take a look at this conversation and, and tell me what are the prepositions you identify here in this conversation as well. Positions. If you don't know, it's fine. Okay, just say I don't. I don't know what a preposition is. Above. Okay, JC. Yes, that's one. What else? What other prepositions? Prepositions are very general. There are prepositions of place, prepositions of of time. There are many. But then, what are those that we um, mostly used? Prepositions. Okay, only one, no more. Okay, let's do something. Let's do something. In this dialogue, we have uh, some highlighted words. For example, we have is and then we have responsible for. So look at look at look at this for. For guys is considered one of the most common prepositions. Okay, what happened here? We have four. Right after four, we have one verb, which is gerund for keeping. Okay, let me show you the next one. Off. Off is another preposition that is very common. And after off, we have another action, and this is directing. And the verb is in ing form. Therefore, por lo tanto, after one preposition, it is mandatory. It is a must. If it is an action, we have to say the verb in ing form. That is like mandatory. Yo no puedo decir uh, responsible for for keep or is in charge of direct. No, it is mandatory that you guys say the ING form. Por eso que cuando decimos gracias por escuchar, no digo thanks for listen, ¿verdad? Tendría que decir que thanks for listening. Porque de esa preposición for me demanda decir el verbo en ING. For listening. Uh, okay, um, gracias por venir, o thanks for coming, thanks for paying attention. Si tenemos ese for, y lo que van a poner es un verbo mandatory, it has to be, it has to be ing for. That's something to that keep that in mind. That's part of today's topic. Uh, the Después tenemos el of, miren, of, el of requiere, así, requires to have the, the very ing form. Vamos a bajar un poquito para uh, hablar un poco sobre este tema. Vamos a ver, tiene un sec segundo. A eso vamos. Aquí tenemos some questions, miren. Discuss and answer the, uh, to the questions below. Compare your, your answer with another pair. Who is responsible for, aquí está, responsible for keeping the safety of the person in the plant? Who's responsible? A ver, más o menos ahí, who remembers? 
who is responsible for keeping? Okay, who do you say? Jessica. Jessica. And okay, what do you what do you let me spare permita voy a hacer algo. A ver si me puede ayudar. Jessica, Jessica is the only one, guys. Responsible for keeping. Jessica, solamente Jessica. ¿Quién es Jessica? The industrial, industrial safety engineer. Exactly, the safety engineer. Okay. And who's in charge of the maintenance personnel? Who's in charge of the maintenance personnel? According to this. Maintenance chief. Exactly. Thank mm -hmm. you, Daniel. Thank you so much, Daniel. Mm -hmm. And who is Roxana responsible to? Who is Roxana responsible to read the conversation and then tell me? Jessica. Made in department? Mm, yes, but there is one, when it's, there's mm -hmm. one person, who is Roxana responsible to? Maintenance chief. Exactly, mm -hmm. Georgina. That's correct. That's the answer to the maintenance chief. That's correct. That's the answer. What about number four? Look at the mm -hmm. organizational chart mm -hmm. above. Who are the safety engineer and maintenance chief responsible to? Look at the look at the chart. The safety engineer and. Um, and the maintenance chief, who are responsible to? Our manager. Exactly. Our manager. Exactly, exactly. That is correct. Good, that's the answer. Great, great. Now let me go ahead and continue to share. So those are the answers. And now we are going to see what I was telling you. We have this right here, okay? How to use ING for after prepositions. That is something that we have to discuss today. And uh, so look at the look at the questions in exercise three it says and complete the statement below. Que iría ahí, guys? Veamos. Que iría en esa, en esa, um, in this uh, part? Look at exercise three. What comes to your mind? What, what would best complete this? What is missing ahí? Verb plus? ¿Cómo lo utilizamos? A ver, ¿quién me ayuda? ¿Qué va, qué va para completar ese blank? ¿Qué le ponemos? El verb plus. ING. ING, exactly. ING. I -N -G. I -N -G. exactly. El verbo en su forma base requiere el ING, ¿verdad? Ahí está. No es una S, es una ING, porque after preposition, for example, tenemos for, que es la más, déjenme compartirle, creo que le estaba compartiendo. Um, tenemos esta preposición, la más común y de esta en esta clase es for. Aquí está for, y la otra es of. Por ejemplo, en la expresión be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to and dedicated to. Entonces, después de eso, vamos a ponerle el, el verbo en ING form. Vamos a hacer ejemplos, ¿ok? Vamos a pens primero pensar en un ejemplo de una manera este, eh, personal, para entender. Primero es, utilicemos la expresión be responsible for. Responsible for. A ver, ¿cómo lo utilizamos, guys? Esta, ¿cómo lo conjugaríamos? Eh, piense en las funciones de su trabajo y utilicemos. Voy a darles un ejemplo. En mi caso, I am, porque no es I be, ¿verdad? Es I am responsible 
responsible for um, what? Let's see, planning and evaluating to uh, planning what classes and evaluating students students learning. Okay, look, I just sent you one example for planning and evaluating. I got two. So what about you? What are you responsible for? Think about those actions. Burns in ING form, please. And send it to uh, the chat. In my work, I, I am responsible for saving and parking the airplane. Okay, I like it. Yes, yes, it's in parking, parking the airplanes. Good. Okay, I want to hear more, more examples. Be responsible for my dec my decision in my department. Yeah, I'm responsible for my decision. Responsible for. That is okay. That is okay for my decisions. The idea is to use an action para decir el ING, ¿verdad? Esa idea está bien. Ahora, ¿cómo la diríamos con un, con un verbo en ING? I am, ¿cómo sería? ¿Qué verbo utilizamos para que... Tomar. Vaya? Ah, exacto, tomar. ¿Qué verbo hace? ¿Cómo iría entonces? ¿Cómo decimos? Tomar esas decisiones. How do you say that? I am responsible for making making or exactamente making, making decision making. in my department. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Making decision. No está bien decir doing um, o oh, ¿cuál es la otra? Or taking, verdad? Sería making decisions. Okay, great. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I like it. Give me more examples. Más ejemplos, please. So, le escuchado dos. Pueden mandarlos al chat también. O pueden abrir micrófono y decir sus, sus ideas, please. Cristina, what are you responsible for? are you responsible for? Vamos a agregar lo siguiente. Cristian, no sé si estaba hablando o tiene su micrófono apagado. Es que me está fallando el micrófono, Tico. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Um, Vamos a agregar una, una más. Quiero, ay, que tengo unos ejemplos y los había visto. I'm sorry. Let me, let me read them. Oh, Georgina, I'm responsible for hiring new staff. Okay. Good example, Georgina. Ana, I'm responsible for... Mm, está bien el ejemplo, pero la idea es que utilicemos una acción, Ana. I'm responsible... Y responsible se escribe con una I. I'm responsible for... Ahí habría que poner una acción. Así, lo que usted ha hecho está bien. Sin embargo, la idea es poner una, una acción, un verbo. Que va justamente la, después de la preposición for, que es el ING. That's the idea. Uh -huh. I'm responsible for... For esto. Linda, tenemos que revisar eso. Eh, falta am y luego no entiendo la otra parte ok um, ¿qué más? a ver ejemplos open your mind, JC, your example Julia, Rubén ahí están, Linda corrijamos um, responsibility for sending the email for clients ok, I'm responsible for sending the email, ok, I like it I'm responsible for sending Nunca vayan a ser responsible for send, ¿verdad? Porque sería un error, for send. Eso no, for sending, como lo acaba de decir JC. I'm responsible for, ¿ok? Ok, 
¿Qué, más, o, ¿Qué otros ejemplos tenemos? I'm responsible for making report. Ok. Good. Marlene. Amaya, I'm responsible for shipping orders. Ok. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Eso es lo que estamos hablando. Muy bien. Pensemos en la otra parte. Mire. Be in charge of. Eso es bien común. En charge of significa es el encargado de. ¿De qué es encargado usted en su trabajo? I am in charge of. Que, que son, in a way, it has to do is very similar, ¿verdad? Pero hay unas cosas que usted lo, lo, no decimos responsable, sino el encargado, ¿verdad? Queremos hacerlo de esa manera, está esta opción. I am in charge of. I'm in charge of what? In my case, I'm in charge of um, um, talking to parents when I need to. What about you? What are you in charge of? I am in charge of keeping clean the ramp. Okay. You have to have the ramp clean. You're in charge of that. Um, Yeah, okay. So when we want to talk about responsibilities, usamos, usamos responsible for, o usamos in charge of, o usamos accountable for, ¿verdad? Como lo ven en la cuadrito derecho, on, on your right aparece. If you want to talk about your, your responsibilities, usamos either responsible for, in charge of, and accountable for las tres, son synonyms, synonyms, okay? Ahora, si queremos decir a quién le reportamos, usamos responsible to, en accountable to, ahí vamos a hacer a una persona, vamos a poner, ¿verdad? ¿Quién nosotros reportamos? ¿Ok? ¿Quién es nuestro immediate, you know, supervisor or, or boss? ¿Ok? Uh, veamos, quiero escuchar más, leer más ejemplos. Abusemos las otras, pero en charge of o uh, accountable for, que también se puede. Uh, veamos, y my job. Cristina says, I'm pongámosle I'm, también, Cristina, responsible for. Mm, allí tenemos que corregir, Cristina, porque la idea después de for, escribamos un verbo en ING. I'm in charge of delivering cleaning material. That is a good one. Esa está muy bien estructurada, Ana Elizabeth. Veamos. Usemos las otras, accountable for. Es lo mismo, todas, de, todas denotan responsabilidades. Así que, you have that option. Y pues de repente alguien me puede compartir un ejemplo con, con el, el responsible to and accountable to. Ahí sí, to say who, a quién le reportamos, ¿verdad? Pues ahí podemos hablar de la hierarquía, ¿verdad? That we just uh, talked. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Está bien, Rubén. I'm in charge of answering calls. Ok. Uh -huh. Soy encargado de responder, ¿verdad? Aunque en español diga, soy encargado de responder llamadas, en inglés la estructura es diferente. Eso tenemos, digámoslo claro, que tampoco vamos a traducir, yo soy encargado de tomando llamadas. Uh -uh. No decimos, soy encargado de tomar las llamadas, responder llamadas. En inglés la idea se dice con ING, en español se dice un verbo en infinitivo, su forma base. Eso es una estructura okay. que tenemos que recordar. Eh, ¿Qué más? Other examples, guys. Casi terminamos. Esto es parte del, del, del tema y es la, la, de hecho es la, lo, lo esencial de la clase mm. este día. Así que sé que lo empezamos a ver, pero ya veo que tenemos la idea, pero algunos no me han dado ejemplos todavía. So send me your examples, please. Ahí tengo otro. I'm in charge of giving onboarding. Aquí le falta la onboarding a new personal. K okay, y personal es personal. Ahí tenemos que corregir. Personal. Ajá, personal y onboarding le falta la letter A. Ok. Nice. Tenemos examples, pero no veo de todos. That's, that worries me a little bit. Please send your examples. Uh, hay 16 conectados. Solo como 5 o 6. Want to read more, more and more, please. I'm in charge of supervising the staff. Ok. Good, Marlene. We're supervising the staff, okay? I'm responsible, ahí falta for, eh, Rafa, for training, for training, mm -hmm. how to use, en ese caso, how to use uh, the guns. Ya me asustó, Rafa. Somos amigos, ¿verdad, Rafa? ¿Sí? 
No. For friends. No. For friends. No. Ah, pues ya le va a caer ahí la renta. Ya va a ver. No. <laughs> ya le va a caer ahí su trabajo. Una... Ok. Good. I'm responsible for training. ¿A quién entrena? ¿A quién entrena? Training. Every people. Ah, ok. My partner. Your partner. How to use the guns. Ok. 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 Good. Son, son de juguete, ¿verdad? De agua. Así es, de agua, de tiran agua yeah. volado. En el pecho se ve. Vaya, este, ahí está la idea. Está la idea. Mañana seguiremos, retomaremos el tema. Es, es un tema en lo personal. Piense que cuando hablamos en inglés, esas preposiciones son bien útiles. Y la verdad, en mi experiencia, de repente las empezamos a utilizar bastante, porque ya sabemos que así van, la estructura es bien, bien común. Le voy a escribir algunas de las que se utilizan más, por ejemplo, at, about, about, for, of. Quiero ver, son de las que yo, in también, son de las que más se ven frecuentes. Ajá. Esas preposiciones que le acabo de mandar son las que frecuentemente se utilizan. Entonces, at, about, for, of, and in son las que, sí, siempre que usted vaya a usar esas preposiciones y lo que quiera poner es un verbo, debe ir en ING. Mandatory. Okay? Así mañana practicaremos un poco más sobre esto. Ya faltan tres minutos, les voy a tomar la asistencia, guys. Aprecio muchísimo su participación y su disposición. Yo sé que es, es nariz y sé que no es fácil. Veo ahí algunos que de repente, pues ya, ya están cansados, pero verdad, the idea is to. Eh, yo siempre les he dicho a, a, a los grupos que the effort pays off. ¿verdad? Así que el esfuerzo no se queda sin recompensa. Así que. Mm -hmm. Eh, me ayudan con la asistencia y pues lo último de esta sesión. Mañana retomamos un poco sobre este tema. Ana Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Narciso. Present, teacher. Thank you, Claudia. No, Cristina. Present. Thank you, Daniel. I'm here Daniel, you. thank you. David, not here. Eric, Arnoldo. Present, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Uh, then Gabriela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Herson. Present teacher. Thank you. Jesus. Not here. Uh, Rubén. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Now I have JC. 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 Present. Thank you. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Julia. Present. Okay. Marlene. Present. Thank you. Marvin. Norma. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafa. Present teacher. Reinaldo. Xiomara. Adrián. Georgina. Present. And Jairo and Jose. And that's it. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. Try to rest. And please complete the assignments, okay, on the platform. See you tomorrow and have a nice night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Night. Night. Hello, Christina. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello.